Hello everyone, this is Silas. So today I'm here to share with you all a solution to an error which I recently faced while working on a recent project. Uh, in this project, I had to use uh, some footages which I had shot on an iPhone. So whenever I used to import that footages from the iPhone into the Adobe Premiere Pro, they used to give me an error. I was unable to edit on them because the video was fluctuating a lot. I will show you that error. So this is a clip which I had shot on an iPhone and its uh, default extension is .mov. So whenever you import this MOV files inside the Adobe Premiere Pro, we actually don't know the reason why it happens but uh, it gives us error. So you can see this fluctuation inside the video. You all can understand that we cannot edit such video. So uh, after doing a bit of research, I found a solution. First of all, I tried using some video converters and tried to convert that MOV file into an MP4 file but that didn't work for me. So after some research, I came to this solution. So if you are facing the same problem then just follow these simple steps which I am showing you and your problem will be solved. So just you have to go to your browser and search for handbrake video transcoder. So the first search result that pops up select that one and download it and let me tell you all that it's free. It's an open source software so anyone can download it and use it for free. So just download this and install by following the instructions given on the screen. So I have already installed. So this is the screen that pops up first when you install and run the handbrake for the first time. So just drag and drop your MOV files inside this dialog box and just wait till it uh, scans it. After scanning, just you need to select the MP4 format and add to queue. And uh, as we are using a single video, so we don't need to add it to the queue. Just we need to press the start encode button and it will start encoding. After the encoding has finished, it will be into an mp4 format just import that mp4 file inside the premiere pro and your problem will be solved so i will just import that inside my premiere pro and show you all so here as you can see i have got that mp4 sorry the converter by default converts it into mpv that is as same as mp4 that doesn't matter you just need to import this inside your timeline and you can see the difference now the clip works normally as we I want it to work and we can now edit on this smoothly so i hope this uh, solves your problem so if you're new or watching this channel for the first time then consider subscribing the channel more videos on filmmaking coming soon till then namaskar